Hi guys, in today's video, I'll show you how to use conditional logic in Google Forms. And I'll also show you how to enhance your forms with a free add-on. So stick around to the end of the video to learn more. All right, so let's begin by creating a blank form. I'll click on blank. And once the next page loads, I'll rename the form to something like sports survey. Okay, that's good. Let's click here to get the title. Okay, so that's good as well. And we can begin customizing our form. We can also add a description here. We'll also be adding multiple questions and sections. We'll just need to click on this icon to add a section. And right now we have two, so let's start with the first one. So let's go ahead and click on this icon to add a new question. And our first question will be, what is your name? We'll keep the question type as a short answer and we'll go ahead and add a new question. For this one, we'll say something like, how old are you? So I'll just type in the question. Now by default, it says option one, but we can change this response to something else like, uh, we can put in an age range like 16 to 25 and we can continue adding to this by clicking on the add options link so the next one will be over 25 okay that's good so then we'll add the final option which will be under 16. okay so i think we are good with these responses let's move this all the way to the top so we have under 16 first and now we can go ahead and add the next question so do you play a sport and the options will be yes and no i'll also remove this maybe option now we can add a new section and now I'll just give it a name. Let's call it something like sports related questions. Okay. So that's good. Let's add one more question. And this one will be how many sports do you play? Okay. And now for the options, let's say something like only one. And I'll just go ahead and provide some more random answers like two to three and more than three. I'll also add a new question. This one will be what sport do you play? And I'll also provide some random answers for it as well. So we'll have football, tennis, baseball, and basketball. All right, so that's good so far. Now we can move on to section three. I need to rename this to something else. Let's call this something like football survey. But of course, in your case, you may come up with a better name. And remember, you can always add descriptions to your section. So for example, for this one, I'll just type in something like questions about football or football boots. And of course, we already have a question section at the bottom. So we'll just edit this to say something like, which brand of football boots do you wear? Okay. Now we need to go ahead and change the question type. Right now it's set to multiple choice, but we can change this to check boxes. And now I'll just go ahead and add the different options. So that will be Adidas, Nike, New Balance, and Puma. Okay. So that was the final question. And I'm just going to make sure that all of them are required. So this one is required. And we can just scroll up and click on every single question to make sure that it's required. And this one is also required by default. To configure your default settings, go to settings. Then you have form defaults where you can collect email addresses by default. And then you have question default to make all questions required. So let's go back to questions to configure the conditional logic. We are going to work with the second question, which says, do you play any sports? So I'm just going to click on it and then I'll click on the options icon. Then go to section based on answer. So from there, we want to click on the drop down next to yes, which is right here. And we want to click on go to section two sports related questions. This means if somebody says yes, they play sports, they will go to section two. We can make no submit the form. Okay, so that's good. And now we need to find the question that says what sport do you play? And if somebody selects football, we need to take them to the question that asked about their favorite brand of football boots or rather what brand of football boots they wear. So let's go ahead and click on the question. Now we just need to click on the options icon at the bottom again. And from there, go to section based on answer. For football, let's access the drop down menu and we'll select football survey. All right, that's perfect. Now we need to have all of the other options submit the form. All right, so we are done setting up our form and right now everything should work correctly. Before sending out your form, you can always go ahead and customize your theme. Just click on this icon. And then you'll have access to the customization settings. Once you're done, click on preview. And now we can go ahead and test our form. We need to get an email first. So let's copy this one and I'll paste it in this field. Let's say the name is Thomas Jones. Now let's select an age and where it says, do you play a sport? If we select no and click next, you'll see that it submits the form. If we go back and we select yes instead and click next, it now takes us to section two. Now I'll select an option here, which will be only one. And now we need to select a sport. Let's select football and let's see what happens when we click on next. So we now have the survey 
And if we were to go back, I'll choose tennis and click on next. It only lets us submit the form. Now, if we go back and select football and click on next, you can go ahead and provide the responses for this question. And since this is multi-select, you can select all or one or some of them. And if I click on submit, there won't be anything else to do. It just submits the form. All right, so now you know how to work with conditional logic in Google Forms. Now I'll show you guys a really useful tool that you can use, especially if you're working with students to provide timed quizzes or proctored quizzes. So on the questions page, click on options, then add-ons. And on the next page, we just want to go ahead and search for extended forms. So I'll just type in extended, then I'll click on the suggestion, which is timer for Google Forms. And we'll click on the first result, click on install, continue. And then we just need to choose a Google account, allow, and that's it. We are done. So we can just close this modal by clicking on the X at the top, then click on the puzzle icon and click on timer for Google forms. Click on configure and just wait for this process to finish. Turn it on. And if you get this message, all you need to do is click on fix settings. And the first option we have here lets us select a sharing method. Then we have our timer options where we can select a time limit so we can increase or decrease it according to our needs. We can also restrict attempts and automatically submit the quiz when the timer ends. Once you're done configuring your settings, just click on save. And then you can go ahead and preview your form by clicking on the preview icon at the bottom. All right, so once we're done, we can click on the Get Started button to take our quiz. And you'll notice the timer at the top. So this means that the quiz is being timed. We have two minutes. And you can just go ahead and fill out these questions just like we would on Google Forms. It's really the same process. Nothing is different except for the timer at the top. All right, so once we are done, we can go ahead and close the tab. So I'll just go to the top and I'll click on the X. And then I'll click on responses and that will take me to the extended forms dashboard where I can view insights and data on this survey. So this had a timer set to two minutes. We can see this hair at the top and we can also see that it was completed in 25 seconds. We can also view response data and also view a report of the quiz. We can send it out via this app as well. So there are a number of things that we can do from this dashboard. Be sure to check out extendedforms.io to experience this yourself. You can always get a free account just to try it out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. See you next time.